All right, with a wing and a prayer, and my dad's very um, able assistance. Uh, I can't believe these people haven't bought a ring light. Seriously. I don't know how my Wi-Fi is because he hasn't updated his Wi-Fi, even though I broadcast from here once in a while. The lack of support. Granted, that light is because my mom demanded a light. They are, I'm in Puerto Rico, if you don't know. Happy, happy, happy Wednesday wine. But today we're not going to do wine. Today I'm drinking beer, local beer. I don't know if you guys know this local beer, uh, but it's called Medalla. And I'll show you the bottle. I drink Medalla Light. Are there any other versions? No. Uh, I thought there were other versions because why would you call it Medalla Light? But whatever. If you don't like it, that's okay. Not everybody has to like it. I like Medalla. It's very light. And um, that's what we're drinking here today because it's super warm on the island. Not complaining at all. Mm. I'm missing all my regulars. I wonder where they are. Guys, let me know where you're um, connecting from. Um, and welcome to Wednesday Wine. This version is from Puerto Rico today. I'm going to turn on the fan a little bit because I'm a little warm. Here we go. Sorry about that. I'm in my dad's office. Um, man, oh, he wants me to call it the man cave. I'm in my dad's man cave. Um, I've decided to come to Puerto, I come to Puerto Rico as often as I can, but I've decided that now on, I'm going to come a little more often just to check in on my parents. I come on my own without my, my troops. My apologies. If the signal is a little shaky, I'm on the island. The Wi-Fi here is not great. Um, hola, Anita. I'm not sure if it's maybe just my dad's Wi-Fi, but he claims that his Wi-Fi is fine and whatever. I also want to celebrate with all of you Hispanic Heritage Month. Yay! It starts today. And a lot of people are like, well, why do you start Hispanic Heritage Month on the 15th of the month of September? And it goes on until the 15th of October. My joke is that we're always late. So they gave us the middle of the month so that we would make it on time. But in reality is because today and tomorrow are the Independence Day for many Latin American countries, including Mexico. So um, that's what makes sense to me. Uh, and so, Feliz Día de la Independencia Mexicana, que viva México, que viva Latinoamérica, y todos los Latinos. My husband is asking, why is the Wi-Fi so bad? My husband. Because he's not here. Because you're not here. Hmm? That comes from my husband. Why is the Wi-Fi so bad? Well, you're not here assisting us. Your father-in-law needs you. Steve is, uh, the term of endearment, endearment for Steve in this house is alguien, which means someone. So he is the someone that's supposed to fix everything here because he just should. Because he's Americano and he should know how to fix all of this. So... <laughs> <laughs> he just answered, I can't fix the Wi-Fi there. I don't think anyone can. But anyway, I wanted to wish everyone a happy Hispanic Heritage Month or ask my daughter, Amelia, would like me to call it Happy Latinx Month. It's not a word that exists, but it's a word that we are uh, using because, as you know, in Spanish, we have gender uh, with our language. So we thought, or the younger generation thinks that by saying Latinx, we're including all genders and people who don't identify with a gender. All things that if you have a teenager, you are learning from. And we should embrace because life should change. So happy Hispanic Heritage Month, happy Latinx Month, one thing I wanted to tell you is that I always get the, why are you celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month? And I always tell them because white month is the rest of the 12 months. Just kidding. But you know, uh, it's the time that we can showcase our culture, our heritage. Um, and 
it's the platform, unfortunately, that we are given once a year in African Americans and Asians and different cultures that are not the mainstream culture. Um, it's the time we get to be showcased. And after that, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of representation. So we go all out these few weeks and we highlight the, the best of our culture. And so I hope you, WGM has uh, a few stories together with Lourdes Duarte and Dan Ponce, who has never called himself Dan Ponce, but I call him Dan Ponce, and uh, Julian Cruz, who happens to be Cuban and fluent in Spanish, but very few people know that. And so we all have different stories to highlight our her heritage. But I really hope, I'm one of the ones that would likely, I would like to eliminate these months if we could, but the way that our country is going, I think we're going to need these months more than ever now. So that is so cool. Yes, I know that Chicago had a nationwide search for the CEO of CPS and they found him in Pilsen. Yes. Yep. Uh, did he grow up in Pilsen? Because I think he's coming from Arizona. And I was like, why did you go to Arizona? I think he, uh, he has roots in Chicago. So we're excited about that. Because that's one thing. I don't know if other cities are like that. If you guys are joining me from other cities, let me know. Chicagoans like Chicagoans to tell them their news, to be in their um, positions of power and leadership. That's what we like. So that's how it is. I am going to bring my parents in soon. The Wi-Fi is so bad. What's the problem? I'm in my parents' house, Joseph. Your last name is Hernandez. You probably have abuelitos who can't figure out their Wi-Fi or live on the island or live somewhere else. And so I apologize. I wanted to use my laptop and I tell, I'll tell you why. Um, and maybe the Wi-Fi when my dad comes closer will fix, will fix itself, but I can do more of my technical work here much better than on my, on my dad's computer because my dad owns a PC. Oh, cool. Joseph, thanks for the info. I always believe it was a Mexican holiday because the South side is full of Mexicanos. Yes. Uh, uh, it's kind of everyone's holiday when you have Latino heritage. So happy next month, happy Hispanic Heritage Month. It is an honor. And as you know, my source of pride to belong to this community and to many other communities, because you know now I'm a mutt like everyone else. I have kids that are half Jewish, half Puerto Rican. We're born in Chicago. I'm from Puerto Rico. My husband's family is from Eastern Europe. So you name it, we blend it. Ah, that was good, right? You name it, we blend it. Ah, okay, so listen, my dad, I'm going to bring him in because I told him, Dad, I have to welcome everybody. Papi, entra. Do you want like a walking in music? No, I would like allá no te ven. So oh, like, like okay, to. be careful with the Do cable. I enter from left or right? You're entering from stage left. Okay. Que show. Okay. Okay, ahora echa la silla para acá. This is my father, Mario. Hello. Well, hello. How are you? You're not having anything? No, no, I'm having later. And I heard my mom opening a Prosecco bottle. She did? Apparently, her pa Parkinson's doesn't affect her opening her own booze. <laughs> oh! Can I, may I excuse Listen myself? Listen to me. What are you doing? You? You're going to check on her? Yeah. Okay. Isn't that sweet? How long have you been married? 61 years. 61 come. years coming. Come October 1st. They'll be married. And I just told them that she's not here and he's going to go get her. Que no necesita ayuda. Que te paso. I'm finishing my beer. How is everybody doing? How are you feeling? I am having a great time. I am busy. I'm running errands for my parents. And so you can have, Randy, you can have wine. I'm having local beer because I love Medalla and I can't find it anywhere. So my Chicagoans, I used to get it at Armitage Produce, but not, not with any frequency. Um, and I heard that they're bringing it in in Minnesota because Minnesota has 65,000 Puerto, Rican, Puerto Ricans living in Minnesota. Pobrecito, los compadezco, because that's colder than Illinois. Um, so... I have news from your mother. Yes. Uh, she's uh, somewhat delayed because she's uh, having some touch-ups to her uh, makeup. 
No, she's right here. Oh, oh. Where's surprise. your drink? No. Enter right. What was it that you told me was you don't drink in public? No. She drinks in private. Come here because I want to sit down. Mommy, did you know the Met Gala happened this on Monday at the Metropolitan Museum of Art? No. You didn't? No, you told me. Do you know what that is where yeah. they all show up in their outfits and yes, whatever? I know. Okay, Mommy, I want to show you this. That's Kim Kardashian. What is it? What is it? Aha, uh -huh. let me explain. That is Kim K on the white carpet of the Met Gala. Mm -hmm. She came with the head designer from Balenciaga. The theme was um, celebrating American pride. Mm, what does that read to you? Uh, nothing. Que parece? Complicated. Celebrating death. Right? Yeah. It's complicated it's dress. It's like a, it's trousers. It's trousers. Yes. With it's trousers. Tail. And it has a, and then, pero papi, you're really focusing on the pants when she, her face cannot be seen. Well, her face cannot be seen. She has a veil over her face. It's almost like a, she has a media. Oh, yeah. See? I mean, she's facing front. She's facing back? front. See? See. My God. That girl needs uh, professional attention. <laughs> Fast. She she's celebrating oh. there. Oh, oh. You think so? Yeah. She showed up with the head designer dressed the same way. Hey, what does head designer mean? The head designer from Valencia oh, is yeah, the guy chief, who designed chief it. Pilot. I had the chief pilot. <laughs> Someone said, "Tell them que una iri chacón americana." <laughs> no, no, even no. worse. Una iri chacón con ropa. You, okay. You're taking offense for Edie's? No. Ah, but no. Is she supposed to be a shadow? Anna, mm -hmm. Anna Norton says, is she supposed to be a shadow? That's a good point. That could be it, yeah. She could be. Batwoman's new outfit, Pasalin. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, see, Mary Bowenton said the Wi-Fi is good. Thank you, Mary. You're we very you. kind. We love you, Mary. You can come back. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I can get some pastelillos for you. I don't know. I don't even know what to bring anybody, honestly. So that's Kim K. That has been the talk of the entire thing. Should be. Should be, right? Well, that's that's what she wants. It. She right. lives. That's she she lives for purpose. that. Uh huh. She did it on purpose. Uh -huh. But that's not the point of the gala. The no, that's not the point of the gala. The guy with her was not Kanye. No, the guy with her was the head designer for Balenciaga. Um, <laughs> Lisa Mary, I love you all. We love you too, Mary. So there you go. That's Kim K. But I'm gonna remove her so everyone can see you guys. My mom, Anavi. No, this is Bobby. Yeah. I'm Dad Mario, my mom Anavi. I am live in Puerto Rico, but now I want to show you. Hold on, because I always screw this up, and you guys always see this live, live, and it bothers me. Now I'm going to share. And she dressed from an American um, Design. designer that I thought looked amazing. Let's go like that. Look at J Lo. That's J Lo. That is J Lo. That is a lot, of, a lot of skin there. Bueno, papi, that is a lot of skin. But don't you think she looks gorgeous? She's in Ralph sí. Lauren. See. Sí. With a, a cowboy Impressive. hat. Impressive. And leather, and she had great jewelry and this brown dress, kind of like signature. Pero no era como un costume. I like no. this a lot. Mm -hmm. And she has a jacket on. No. She has a feather. Um, a cape, like a little cape. Uh-huh. Okay. See what I mean? Yeah, that's that's different. Yeah. That's pretty, right? Mm -hmm. That's more of a punt point of the gala. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right on the money. Right on the money. Okay. So that's what we're gonna say about the Met Gala. Uh <laughs> someone goes, a lot of skin, yeah? A lot of skin. <laughs> a lot of skin, yeah. But it doesn't affect she oh, someone said J Lo gave me vibes. Of Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. You guys, oh, did you see that yeah. movie? Yeah. 
No, but I heard him. Yeah, heard yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I can totally see it. She, the, Debbie, with so much money and so much stylish at her fingertips, she didn't know what to wear. I think you're referring to Kim K. But yeah, it's true. But also, these people, it's a costume gala, right? It is. Ah, it it is. The, it I is think it is called the Met Costume Gala. Oh, well, that I thought, I thought it was just right? well, beautiful dresses and things like that. Because, you know, you can go dressed in a costume or you don't have to. So how are you guys? We're, we're, we're doing okay. fine. We're, we're very not... happy that you're here. Yeah. It's a different situation. Situation. It's a different, it's a happiness in the house. See, see. You make us very happy. See. And you're doing see. many things for us. So I'm, I, a, I'm like their personal shopper. And we're very proud. And ballet. Of, we're very proud of you, of your pro professional career and your, uh, Appearance in the internet <laughs> with your bad Wi Fi, but apparently it got better. <laughs> Lillian, mommy, and papi, I'm up for adoption. No, they're done. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're <laughs> no, we're done. I think that Mary is right, they try to be crazy but yet fashionable. Mary, See. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, that was her. Oh, Mayor, were you on the air today with Jeff Hoover and Swery Mary? That's awesome. I saw goats. And you know, my experience with goats last time was that one nipped my boob and that was not nice. Ah, the goats. The goats, such a nice family. Thank you, thank you so much. You. So yeah, I've been here since Monday. Monday and I leave Friday and I think my kids, or at least my husband was watching, right? I think so. Uh, and uh, we want to thank them. Yes, we want to yeah, thank, we uh, thank them for sharing Anna with us. Yes, we want to thank Steve for holding the fort for us. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see them twice this year. I know. So, oh, thank you, Joe. God, uh, don't drink too much. I won't. My mom watches me. No, Mary no. went down a slide. I don't even know you, Mary. I don't even know you. Don't know what happened? She yeah. went down the slide, and the goats were hilarious. Goats are always funny. Oh my God, you see the resemblance with my parents? Yeah. I started looking like him and then I morphed into her. Well, I changed my hair. Pero es mejor. ¿Tú no crees? Yeah. O sea, no offense, papi, tú eres lo más guapo, pero... No, 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 man. You're much better with your mother. Exacto, exacto. English. In English! Well, I, I want to uh, make an interruption here because I know we were talking the other day of our my equipment. Mm -hmm. my carpentry equipment and so on mm -hmm. and so forth. Uh, I want to show you in front of the I mean, he brought props. I, I bought a new measuring tape. Measuring tape. Papi, do you know how to use this tape. measuring tape? I think you're going to lose a finger. No, 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 no. It's, so we can measure the... Uh, microwave. Oh, microwave. because I have to buy a new microwave. I don't have to. They need a new microwave. They... Maybe you say you would like you would like a new microwave, yes. but their microwave is suspended, and my husband said I have to measure it. Yes, we yes, will measure it measure. tomorrow. We'll have a ceremony. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of you that you bought a new tape measure. Yeah, I've been meaning to buy it because for the last, 30 the last years. one had rust. But he's been using no, the no, one no. I used to sew. Yeah. Oh, the soft one. The soft yes. Yeah, That's what you've measured things with? Yes. Pretty... Mary, you see what I mean? Like, no. why do you wonder why I am the way I am? See. Then, you well, know, like, don't wonder. Look where I come from. I am. I am enjoying every day that I can with them. Mira, Marilene Toro. That sounds like a cousin. Uh, okay. Marilene. Uh, I be. See? No? See, Marilene. Uh -huh. I know. Marilene. The daughter of uh, Marilene is the granddaughter of my cousin, of my first cousin. I <laughs> see, mira, Todd. Todd is on YouTube and Mary is on Facebook. Are you guys not talking? Listen, I have a lot of people around me breaking up. I don't need no, Todd no. and Mary to be no, no, in no, different no. places. No, no. Get back together. He's being fed very well by uh, by, Mary. by Mary and a salad every night. We, we admire that with lot. cherry tomatoes. That's what I also have, Mary. Mm -hmm. But it's not made by Mario. It's made by Dominga. 
Oh, let me see. Assistant chef. Anna, while you're there with your parents, what is your favorite meal that you would like for them to have with you? I don't know. Whatever she makes. I'm not picky at all. I'll eat any leftover. Whatever I don't have to make, I'm good with. But she always has meatballs and rice for me and a bunch of tostones, which are fried, fried plantains. And uh, she's, at some point, there is a lasagna yes. tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. The same lasagna that you can see on YouTube that I prepared a couple of weeks ago that I just posted on YouTube, my mom's lasagna. And I guarantee you it'll taste better well, here. Well, I have to check what she did. The house Don't is beautiful from the video earlier this week. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to tell you something about how proud she is. She's always been proud of her decorate, decor, right? Yeah. Quality of life. Quality of life. And I've never, I've always been sure about it. I've never been uh, questioning what I do. She would rather spend it on upholstering chairs than on her outfits. That's right. And she would always save her money to do that kind of stuff. Right? Mm -hmm. And so if you'll, you'll see that video, my mom's house is a museum house. It's gorgeous. No, it is. It's a museum house. Well, it looks like, <laughs> like it, it looks like no one lives here. No one, because it's kept clean and organized. Well, I have help. That makes a difference. Sure. Uh -huh. Bring potash the next Wednesday wine. Hilarity will definitely ensue. Potash, if I bring him, he's going to get himself into trouble on this thing. I guarantee you. I may, I gave Todd and Mary part of the lasagna. Uh -huh. And they, they I made him a little lasagna. And because Mary feeds me all the time. Uh -huh. And so they loved it. Mary and Todd Good. love lasagna. At Berta, it's a magazine house. Y no, it's a magazine house. Listen, I want to be embarrassed. Oh, it's a gorgeous oh, house. You should be proud of it. And man. this is what they say about my place. Bueno, que Ana María esas cosas no le importan. Which means? Ana María doesn't easy. care about that stuff. Yeah. But my house doesn't look bad. No, 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 no it's messy. It would be, look better if it be organized. You know, oh, yeah, we don't have to discuss this in public. I, I mean, Uy, bacalao with verduras. That's very Cynthia. Nice. That's Cynthia. Cynthia. Yeah, that's very... My mom and my tata, may she rest in peace, made the best. And we eat that. Um, serenata. For, it was a serenata, like serenade for good, Friday. for good Friday. And I came here one good Friday, and you had that for me. Yeah, but I can't have it anymore. But we went out for dinner once that you came, and you had the... Uh, the serenata. The serenata. Once you came alone. I, alone. Aloni pechugon. But bacala with verduras, I like it, but with aceite and olive oil. Awesome. I mean, olive oil and vinegar. I don't like the guisado as much. No. 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 Let's see. Adriana uh, Hueso. Se ven alegre. Están contentos, ¿verdad? There we are. <laughs> it should be on the cover of House Beautiful. Ella trató. <laughs> But you should see, this is the one thing I'm going to say. When my kids are here, they don't know how I grew up because my mom lets them run around. She takes down everything that can break. Alex has stood on those sofas with socks on, but he stood on them. So she's she's a pretty typical grandmother when it comes to that. Mira, Marisol is making verdura and bacalaos. Uh -huh. Ana, you, you, and that's okay. Ana, you have kids. I have kids, but she had two, Maria, and she taught us not to touch anything. We could keep our bedrooms messy, but not her empire. Not her empire. But um, I didn't live in an apartment then. I lived in a house, so you could go out and play. Yes. And I had a That's little, little dollhouse for you. Yes. And a tree house for Mario. Yeah. We weren't lacking mm -hmm. anything. No, you weren't. No, we weren't. Big patio and everything. Yes. And we had a TV in our room because uh -huh. the living room was not for the TV. No. We really did, didn't have a family room in the house I grew up in. I didn't grow up in this house. Well, My parents was, moved here when I went to college. Well, the, 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 the terrace was in mostly. This home. The terrace, the covered terrace was like. Yes. The, uh, this is an apartment, it's not a house. Exacto. This is an apartment that looks like a house because it's the size of a house because it's not the size of my apartment. Taina. Mira, se llama Taina. Hey. Taina. That's my dad's favorite hey, alternative hey, hey. name. Uh -huh. If yeah. he could have named me something for show business, it would have been Taina. 
Yeah. So if you're coming tomorrow with your QR code, take a picture of it, have it on your phone, and pray that you don't get the most dreaded words in Spanish in Puerto Rico that are... El sistema se cayó. The system has crashed. Rezo por ti. Oro que no te pase. Who's coming? Taina Parra is coming oh. tomorrow. Nena, please, because if the system crashes, try to escape. <laughs> Corre. Flee. Because you will be there way too long. Yes, I grew up in a house, and then we moved to an apartment. So the house was smaller, and it was in downtown San Juan, San Juan, which well, it, is, it is not a metropolis. But if you ask me, that's why I like living in the city, because we did city uh -huh. living. We didn't live in the suburbs or mm -hmm. in the country or at the beach. We had trees in We lived barrio. in the city, but it was very urban living. It was. And my mom did all she wanted with that house and through great. And then there we had a white sala and we could not use that white sala, that white living room, uh, unless it was holiday pictures. That's true. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So there you go. Uh, so we moved here. Unless you're getting engaged. Ah, so getting engaged, getting married, uh -huh. Christmas. But that didn't happen when we lived there. First communion, no. First communion. First communion. Um, graduations. Graduations. We could take pictures there. I bet a lot of you that are watching know what I'm talking about. What, you guys were asking why wasn't there plastic on those sofas? There are no. There's no need because she rules with fear. See. The plastic on those sofas is fear. See. Definitely. La sala es para la visita. Right. Right. And if for a year you don't have visita, don't touch the sala. Right. Okay. Perfect. And that appears it, it happens throughout Latin America. Mira! Patsy Sotomayor! Ave Maria Patsy! Patsy Sotomayor is my, one of my aunts. Listen, this year has sucked uh, because we lost my aunt and uncle. My dad lost his oldest brother and his wife, who was like my mom's sister and my second mom. And a few years ago, we lost my Aunt Marilou, who was like another mom for me and another one of my mom's sisters. She was my dad's sister-in-law. It's complicated. The sisters-in-law sisters -in -law got along better than the brothers. <laughs> now I'm going gonna, gonna to cut a phone call from my Uncle Gary. Oh, but anyway, so my mom's the only one left with my Uncle Gary and my dad, which is pretty much almost like you started yeah. the journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Patsy is, Patty Sotomayor is one of my Aunt Mary Lou's best friends. Very much And so. she had, my aunt had the best friends. Sí, sí. Tio Gary and Titi Lulu had the best, funniest, hippest friends. Sí, Tata sí. and Tio had nice friends, but they were older. Sí. Of course. <laughs> like 10 <laughs> years older. Pero Pat <laughs> and then my uncle is a pilot, so he had fun friends. Those guys were really fun. And my dad's like a square. So when I got to hang out with Titi Lulu, Tio Gari, and her friends, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. So we miss we miss you guys so much, and we miss Titi Lulu terribly, yeah. and Tio and uh, Tata. I see. Uh, Patsy, Patsy. Patsy, thank you for writing. Yeah. Uh, yes, no entry in the sala. And now I don't want anyone in my sala. When did I become my mom, Lena? It happens. It happens with birth. You give birth. And if you don't have any kids, you turn a certain age mm -hmm. and it happens to you. I, I am this close to getting a lamp to put it on my side table in my sala, but I'm afraid that Alex is going to knock yeah. it over. Yeah. So I got to yeah. wait. Mm -hmm. I got to wait. My abuela's house, the same spotless you can eat off the floors. Plastic yeah. on sofas when I was a kid. Now her tatanietos can eat in the living room. Yeah. Happy. They can. They can. Totally. Yeah. I love it. We had a front room for company only. Your white living room was a front room. Yes, it was. My grandmother's house uh -huh. was like yeah, that. The front room was the living room. Front room was the living room and I never used. I love this. Mírame, no me toques sala. For right. sure. ¿Quién es Josh, tío? Estoy con Josh. Oh, that's the wine. Ah, sí. My Uncle Gary piped up, but it's true. Edgar Belaval is my Uncle Gary. These fools all have names in English and strange names. They're, my uncle was named Joseph Herman. Si. You are named Mario. Mario. 
and my uncle Gary is named Edgar Julio. Why? Because Julio was my no, mother. No, Edgar. Why Edgar? Because of your uncle. My, my yes. uncle. And Mario, because of your uncle. Yeah. My great uncle. uncle. And Joseph Herman? Because of the grandfather. Uh, and, great grandfather. And the names are all in, in English. So my uncle Gary was the most fun of these three guys. And so they would send us in the summer to hang out at my uncle's house. <laughs> and my cousin Vanessa and my cousin Desiree can attest to this. He had a pool in the house. The only pool she would swim in. See? Because my uncle would put so much chlorine in there. See. My poor Ed Kosangusi had red eyes every time he saw it. They look like cats. <laughs> but Tio would wake up Vanessa and decide by throwing them in the pool. Oye, yeah. me. He did. Vanessa told me they won't forget. Yeah. Soy moderno. Yes, yeah. you were moderno. Yeah, my Aunt Mary Lou would wear a bikini. My mom would never wear oh, a bikini. Really? Mm -mm. Oh, yes, the dining room, only for holidays or birthdays. But this is one lesson my mom learned a long time ago. You use your dining room for anything now. Uh -huh. See? Not for anything. We don't eat there every day. No, no. But I use it when people come over, yes. And we used to entertain a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mira. Wait, we used to have a front room and special occasions, then a den in the back connected to the kitchen for mm -hmm. eating and watching TV. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. One of my brothers is Edgar Mario. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is wild. Ah, thank you guys. Wild combination. Thank you for sharing uh, the Wednesday wine with us um, and allowing me to bring my family always in here. We miss my brother Mario who had to go work out. Professional commitment. But, um, ah, mira, my Uncle Gary, baja los pies del sofá. Sí. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Que si fuimos a Pueblo, we went to Pueblo and Supermax. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday. Yes. De de depends on what the boats, the ships bring in. Yes. Sometimes Pueblo doesn't have it, then we go to Supermax. Vice versa. It's, it's, it's a night for island living. But to end, I want to say I am not here because they're not doing well. They look fantastic. <laughs> uh, I probably am here for selfish reasons just because I want to see them more often. My brother and sister-in-law cannot be more amazing with my parents. I hope everyone can be that lucky to have a sibling and an in-law that are unconditional and generous and loving and responsible uh, because I certainly am. But um, but it's the only I, I'm lucky enough that my kids and my husband let me come mm -hmm. over so that I can also help un poquito, you know, because when you're far away, you feel like you can't help. And the longer you're far away, the harder it is. So I'll be here until Friday. Jeff Hoover, don't make any kids cry. Uh, keep having fun with the goats. And I know that Dean is also subbing for me and I'm excited for that too. enjoy around town. I miss you guys and I'll see you soon. Thank you, guys. Bye now. Te quedo bien. Te quedo bien. Gracias. Te quedo bien.